Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So I'm getting the green stalk ready for planting up. It's the same day as the first part. Uh, and uh, I've, uh, I've decided I'm gonna get things planted up. So now green stalk was nice enough to include in their gift one of Mrs. Bowtie's favorite parsleys, Italian parsley. And uh, I was very excited to uh, um, plant this up. And uh, I don't know if you saw, but the package got wet I was, as I was filling the uh, green stalk. So, between the recording of the last video and this video, I thought, I'm gonna get smart. I'm gonna put the seeds up on a table and um, get them in the dry. So as I was watering this just now, I sprayed the table the whole time I was watering. So I decided what you do, if you've got, if you've got a, a paper package that's gotten wet, what you do is go in, get a coffee filter, put it in a bowl, and dump the seeds in there. And you can see there's some seeds in there, maybe. There they are. And so uh, I did that, and I was coming back out to finish recording this video, and I turned around, and I wasn't holding the filter, and the filter dumped all my seeds on the ground. So I looked inside the package. That's why it's all open like this now. Looked inside the package, and there's about five leaf seeds left in there. So these are really small seeds. Let me show you here. So I've got the camera zoomed all the way in, and you can see how small those seeds are. They are extremely small. You can tell by the size of the seeds how deep those seeds need to be planted. These seeds are small, so they don't need to go into the soil, but maybe the width, maybe just a little bit of soil on top of them that will equal about two times their width, the widest part. So we're talking less than an eighth of an inch of soil. But that's all I have left. That's what was in the package. I'm so sad. <sighs> so this is the compartment I'm going to be putting the seeds in. And these little itty bitty seeds, as you can see here, uh, let me clean off my hands here. I need to be careful because these are my last few seeds of the Italian parsley. I'm gonna put that little bit of debris in my fingers in my hand, and I'm going to just spread those seeds across the top of the soil. Now remember, these are small seeds, right? So they don't have to get buried deep. Something this small, just work the soil a little bit. Just get it into the soil. That's about all that it's going to take. Now I'll be putting a label in this, this compartment, and those parsley, hopefully will grow because we'll harvest from this and what i'd like to do is um, let this go to seed and i can collect seeds for next year italian parsley on the tag and the tag goes in put it over here to the side and there we go italian parsley planted it's time to get a few more things planted now one of the reasons we wanted this green stalk was for lettuces And I have a number of old lettuce seeds here, which lettuce does not do well as old seeds. So I know that, but I'm going to go ahead and use up all this seed because it just kills me. It just sitting there going bad. So this is Ella crop lettuce. Let's see how big the seeds are. For those of you who don't know, I'm gonna pour out a few seeds in my, whoo. Just a few seeds in my hand. And you can see that these seeds, again, are very small. Now lettuce is a little different. Lettuce can actually be exposed to the sun and it will, it will germinate. So I'm going to spread a few of these around in here and just kind of pat it in. Sprinkle a few. Pat it in, sprinkle a few, pat it in. 
That's all lettuce need, lettuce seeds need. They're little tiny seeds. They will do their thing. They just want to grow. Mantilla, mantilla lettuce. Also an old seed, but we're gonna plant it in the next three. Actually, it's not too old seed. The uh, lettuce seed is not very big. Mantilla lettuce. So what I'm doing is I'm putting one on this end of this bin and then these three bins all the way over to here, one on this end of this bin. So I don't know, I'm just making up a system. Again, remember this is a log of everything I'm doing, so I'm just logging my stuff. So next is going to be mascara lettuce and this is a uh, warm tolerant Supposed to be a warm tolerant. I also have a bunch of my own seeds in there too, so we might uh, we might be able to plant those up in the next round. I'm going to use some of these old seeds though. In this again, you can see how small the seeds are. They're very small. So we'll just pat them in. Basically, you want to just make sure that the seed has contact with the soil, with the moist soil, because that moisture is what's going to start the germination process. Now, this one's been a really good producer for me. In fact, last year I had a volunteer for Ellen Schluss lettuce uh, grow up by the mailbox out front. And I was uh, playing with the thought of maybe I should let it seed itself and grow a patch out there, but it didn't happen. It died in the very hot summer that we had. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna plant a couple of pockets of this. I've got a few other lettuces, but I think this may be about all I'm gonna do right now because I wanna do some uh, um, succession seeding, see if some of this will come up. And, and I don't have a lot of hope for all of these seeds um, because some of them are old. And of course, I sprayed a bunch of them just now, so <sighs> tis life on the bow tie gardens. But uh, these seeds, again, very small. You can see here, they're very small seeds. And we're just gonna pat them in, like we did all the other lettuce. This is a romaine, of course. But it does, this stuff does, I, I am very familiar with this particular one and it does grow pretty good here. Um, I haven't had a lot of height out of it though. So I've got to try something different, which is part of what this green stalk is all about. Cause in our raised bed number three, which is just right there, um, it didn't do too well. So I got to do something better. So Mrs. Bowtie can have her romaine and lettuce. I get the last of these seeds. Oop, need to level this out a little bit first. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So there we go. Forellenschluss is tagged. So I started out the last video with sun and blue skies. Then it got to dark clouds. Now, and I started this video with dark clouds and you gotta see what's up there now. It's just another beautiful day in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> the radar said we were supposed to get rain. We have a, the, the, the Choctawachi um, Bay out here creates a bubble in Destin. Makes weather a little unpredictable sometimes. So anyway, that's the green stock planted up. I only got the top uh, two rows done uh, because I want to go here in about uh, two or three weeks. I'm going to come back and plant some more. And I've got a few different kinds. I'll plant some more in the next two. And then a few weeks, I'll plant some more in the next two. We'll hopefully have this thing full of lettuce. I did plant in the very bottom. You'll see there's some white tags down there. I did plant some dill and cilantro. Dill on this side, uh, cilantro on the other side. And I did tag them so that I'll know that uh, they're growing there. So now, and, and one thing the instructions do, does say is when you're planting large things like cilantro and dill both can get pretty big and you always want to plant them down at the bottom. So they're gonna get to kind of be a kind of big on the bottom. I may end up having to figure out how to tie them up. Who knows, maybe I'll get the little rack that goes, goes on this thing. Uh, but uh, something to hold them things in. But anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing grows. Be sure and check back with the garden tour and uh, see see what's going on. I, I'm if it's sitting back here, it'll be it will be included with the raised garden bed tour. Uh, if it's sitting out front, should it be in the front side garden tour or should it be in the raised garden tour? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's gonna depend on how much time I have left at the end of uh, my recording. So. <laughs> Again, I'm Bowtie Dave. Uh, this is Bowtie Life. We talk mostly about gardening, sometimes about life. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're just stumbling along finding us. Uh, every subscription helps. Every time someone watches a video helps. Every time someone clicks the thumbs up, it helps. And all these are free. This doesn't cost you anything to do and it helps grow the, our community here. And um, it just it makes it stronger. And so um, if you found this to be at all educational, informational, inspirational, or just entertaining, because I watered my seeds while they were still in the pack, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I, I mess up sometimes too, so I, I, can, I can own it. But uh, anyway, um, click the thumbs up and uh, share with your friends on uh, your social media pages like Facebook or wherever you can share the videos. Uh, and if you're just interested in finding out what happens next with this, uh, all these should be germinated by the time I do the uh, May garden tours here in about two weeks. I can't believe it. It seems like we just did the April garden tours. So yeah, anyway, um, mostly because the reason why it's coming up in two weeks that I'm recording them is because the trip I was supposed to take last week didn't happen. Uh, so I'm having to push it up a few weeks. Uh, had car trouble, had a few other troubles, so it didn't happen. That's all there is to it. But uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta take one day at a time and figure things out and give, take what the Lord can, gives you because his plans are, are not always clear. And, but we know that his plans are always good, so. This is a this uh, video, and as well as all the videos, are just a personal log of things that are going on in the garden. Uh, this is the way I log things, and you are more than welcome to join along. And uh, all that being said, I guess it's just come down to the end. This, there wasn't much to this video, just planting some seeds in, and some very small seeds. Those lettuce seeds are itty bitty. Uh, I'm still very upset about the Italian parsley seeds that I dumped all over the carpet in the Florida room. They are so small. There's no chance of, uh, of 
collecting them. So, all right, I'm gonna have to live with it. Anyway, Mrs. Bowtie rolled her eyes at me, but uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a good May, have a blessed day.